Hey everybody, Syntax77 here, back from a little bit of a hiatus. It's been a while since my last video, and that's because I was on vacation. And by vacation, I don't mean an adventure to a backpacking trip or some sort of three or four day rush to Ireland or Costa Rica or something like that, but an actual relaxing eight day vacation. I just got back from Mexico, so that's why it's been a little while since my last video. In fact, to kind of put a damper on my Adirondacks video, I released part one pretty much right before I left or close to it. So I'm going to get back to working on that. But since I'm back now and getting into the swing of things, I thought maybe I'd hit the post office and do another episode of Mail Call. Let's see if we got some cool gear to show. Mail. Mountains of it. It'll be a red letter day when the postman blows mail call. And lo and behold, upon my arrival back to the country, oh, and my home, I did indeed have plenty of mail waiting for me. Lots of letters from viewers. So thank you to everyone out there. I'm assuming that's most likely for uh, stickers, which I didn't show in the last video, but they look like this. Just like a uh, standard bumper sticker. So those are the stickers I send to people who send me envelopes. And then I also got two items that I expected, but I'm still a little confused by one of them. We'll, we'll get to that. Now, one of them is by a company called Outdoor Vitals. I uh, think we can all tell that by the sticker right there that says Outdoor Vitals. That's a startup company. They sent me some gear. So we'll open that up and see what that looks like. I've actually been noticing them do a bit of an ad campaign. You may have seen their videos. Um, it has to do with the beard who comes up and talks about how he started this company to sell directly to people so that the costs can be in their terms. They're saying 50% less, but without a hit in quality. So we'll take a look at this first impression of that. So we'll open that up in a second. And then the other one, this is the one that confused me a little bit because it's surprisingly huge. I got contacted by Sawyer, who makes the Sawyer Squeeze and Sawyer Mini filters. And I was using those for years, and then recently I switched to a Catadyne Be Free, and I've been trying that out and enjoying it. Well, they came out with a new series. I think it's the S series, I'm just gonna call it. And they said, do you wanna try it out? And there's three different types. And I said, sure. And I picked one of the types that I thought might be interesting to you, the viewers, and I got a box this big, so we'll have to figure out why Sawyer sent me <laughs> a box that big for a water filter to try out. All right, so let's get to the, what are we going to open first? Let's do the Outdoor Vitals box. Now, looks like they recently did a Kickstarter, but now they are open to the public. I wasn't aware of their Kickstarter, but I checked out their page after they reached out to me. And they basically said, look, we know from reading the about page on your YouTube channel that you make it pretty clear that you don't just do videos, positive videos in exchange for free stuff. So, hey, um, if you want to try our gear, great. If it ends up in a video, whatever. Um, but we are confident in our product and we think that you'd like it. So do whatever you want with it. And I said, send it. Now, one of the things they had was called a mummy pot. And it's an insulation system. Now, as I've talked about on this videos before, and like a lot of us do, insulation system for hammocks, which is what I use, is typically and traditionally, at this point now, it is a kind of young sport, but traditionally under quilt and top quilt, which I won't go too deep into right now, but that's two separate pieces that insulate the bottom of you, which hangs on the outside, and then the top of you, which is on the inside. Well, this is kind of like a pea pod style, and it goes all the way around you, from what they tell me. If you've ever watched Suge's videos where he does the pea pod, I think he just calls it a pea pod. He, I think he might have made it himself, but it's like that kind of style. It looks like just a sleeping bag that goes around your whole hammock. And from what they say, you can also use it as a traditional sleeping bag as well. So you have that ground versatility in addition to the hammock insulation capability. I said that sounds cool, so send it on out and maybe I'll use it on an upcoming trip that Mike and I are gonna do 
which is going to be soon kind of Halloween theme at the end of this month October Mike and I are going to go do kind of a spooky trip somewhere I'll save the details of that as a surprise but I said hey that would be a cool trip maybe I'll try it on that so what we have here appears to be Outdoor Vitals Storm Loft 15 degree charcoal color insulation and again this isn't a review this is just kind of checking out what came in the mail today and showing you what's going to be coming up on the channel because what I'm probably going to do like I said is take this on that trip and Mike and I are going to do two nights so I'll try it out in the wild so you can see it in action there but it feels pretty good considering it's 15 degrees it's got the stuff sack here and I'll link in the video description uh, a link for these guys so you can check out the details yourself but this is kind of cool so we got that and then what's this here carry bag hmm. well hold on I'm getting ahead of myself let's just show you this real quick there it is and as you can see put box at the bottom there does have a zipper so this would normally be the bottom of your sleeping bag but there's the ability to unzip it so that if you want to use it on a hammock you can put the end of your hammock through it and we'll see how that works on that trip maybe I'll throw some pictures in from their website so it's a little more makes a little more sense what I'm talking about so this is cool I'm looking forward to using this it smells nice and new looks like we got some um, shock cord and toggles in there for setup I'll have to figure out how to use that there's some stickers thank you guys and a letter Sean thanks again for checking out our new mummy pod sleep system along with our single person hammock and suspension system wow so this is they told me hey I'm, we're gonna go ahead and send you our actual hammock system now this should work with any hammock but they said we'll throw in ours as well you can check it out so this little guy right here is a hammock and suspension cool it was so small at first I thought maybe they um, didn't send the hammock but that's awesome along with a single person hammock and suspension system uh, they use whoopee hooks too which as a company i think it's pretty cool that they went ahead and did that um we designed a bag ourselves patented foot box 800 fill power hydrophobic down that's cool looking forward to that vertical baffles all that fun stuff all right well in that case let's take a look at the hammock and then we'll move on to seeing what sawyer sent so here it is, integrated stuff sack style that is sewn onto it. This feels nice and light. I do remember reading that all in it was, I'll pop the weight up, but I know it was under a pound. I want to say it might have been 15 ounces, including suspension, hammock, everything. Here's a couple carabiners, outdoor vitals. Boom, two carabiners. And with a little rubber band here, we have whoopee slings that attaches to the tree straps that they have here as well and again this isn't a full review so I don't know the exact length of these tree straps or how they're going to work out well I have a pretty good idea how they're going to work out because if you're familiar with whoopee sling systems and tree huggers which is basically what this is I imagine it's going to work pretty similar it's just going to come down to how is the comfort and how does it integrate with that uh, mummy pod system for our spooky trip that Mike and I are gonna do to a cool location coming your way soon for Halloween so that's cool nice soft feel on this I don't know if the actual type of material I don't think that was listed on that letter nope doesn't say but I'll have to figure it out it does say they have some uh, nice YKK zippers for anti-snag on the bag though no, that's cool but anyway yeah so far it feels nice and smooth and oh, okay it looks like I'll have to set up the gathered end um, myself obviously that's pretty simple I'm just gonna take um, whoopee and slide it right through there I don't know we'll figure it all out as we go but there it is as of right now it's just a nice big old rectangle with a ripstop pattern on it all right so that is the outdoor vitals hammock system that I'll be trying out all right so there we go on that and hey the point of these videos is fun and conversation learning so if anybody's already maybe had any experiences with outdoor vitals feel free to chime in in that comment section below any heads up for me for taking it out on my trip we'll see but let's move on now to the Sawyer box of goodies 
and what did they send me? And I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I'm not sure that this product is out yet. I know when I took a quick look on Amazon, etc., I didn't see it actually available for sale yet. So I think this is brand new. Good Lord, what is in here? <laughs> I'm just gonna put this down to the side. So what we have, where's the main thing they sent? Uh, okay, this is it, the S3. Again, this isn't a full review, but I'll tell you what I know so far. They have the S1, the S2, and the S3 for different levels of filtration in different situations. S1, or I should say S3 being the most capable, if you will, and for me personally, I think it was overkill for what I usually do, but what I told them was, because they gave me a choice, which one to check out. I said, I'll go for the S3 because then that way I can see the utmost capabilities and then people can decide for themselves after watching the video um, which version is best for them. But I might as well try what is allegedly the most capable one. And this is a bigger system, but they're all the same size and weight from what he told me. And what they do is, if you're familiar with the Sawyer Squeeze, which apparently they sent me a new one of those too, so works out for them because now they're gonna get a nice little example of what I'm talking about. This is the original Sawyer Squeeze, not the mini, but the Sawyer Squeeze. I had this as my original backpacking filter, the first one I ever owned myself, uh, like five years ago. And well, to jump to the key point I'm trying to make, this is a hollow fiber membrane system. Inside there, there is a piece of material that has millions, or I think millions, a lot, let's just say, of ultra tiny little pores and that allows water through but not bacteria protozoa cysts things like that now what they've done is they've combined that uh, hollow fiber system with a proprietary foam as they call it and I can feel it in here it's squishy and between the foam and the hollow fiber system you end up with an even higher level of filtration so this here is the top which is probably the hollow fiber and I imagine it screws onto here. It has a small little uh, insert there with some holes probably to keep any large items from going in there like pieces of leaves and stuff. And then I can see down in there, there is the foam. So you would fill this up and then from what I read on the website, you squeeze it back and forth a little bit to really work it. And then with this attached on the end, you would squeeze through as normal and you got that full filtration going on. In fact, written right on the bottle, it says step one, unscrew the filter, fill the bottle to the max fill line, which I see right here, around here, and then screw the filter back on. Squeeze in an alternating motion for 10 seconds, like I said, and then step three, drink directly from the filter or um, squeeze it into a container of your choice. So the S3, like I said, is the highest level and that is going to do bacteria, protozoa, chemicals, pesticides, viruses, and heavy metals. And if that's overkill for you, then there's the S2, which does, uh, let me just pop it on the screen. The main differentiator for the S3 is that it does the heavy metals as well. The S2, I think does everything except for the heavy metals. And the S1 does everything except for the viruses and heavy metals. For me, that's usually enough, just bacteria, protozoa, and I don't really worry about viruses. Some parts of the world, viruses may be important, particularly outside of America in different countries. So that S2 could come in handy, as well as pesticides. Now that could be a problem in America too. I've gone over that in some of my other filter videos, but if you're in an agriculture type of area where pesticides are a known problem, then you might want to go for that. It comes with the standard plunger here, I can see. I'm used to seeing that for back flushing. So once I actually use this thing, and you know what, I'll probably take this out on that same trip with Mike and I, because not to give too much away, but I don't think the mileage is going to be too crazy on that trip. So I can afford to bring a variety of stuff to test. So that's the uh, Sawyer S series, Sawyer Select. Okay, so let's call it the Sawyer Select. So if you want to Google it yourself, check it out, Sawyer Select, but that's the new thing I have to play with. And then it looks like they sent me a gravity system to go along with it. So that's kind of cool. Now, some of you are going to say, oh my God, that's so big. Um, I will tell you the weight on it. 
well, I'll just pop it up. It's not as heavy as you would think because it's a foam in there and a light rubber material, but it is gonna take up some room in your pack, but you're getting those additional capabilities for filtering depending on your needs. But anyway, back to the gravity system they sent me. Looks like a bag here. So I guess I'll try this out on that video as well. And I can hang it or sit it on a flat surface. Gravity filter. Sawyer, Sawyer went crazy, didn't they? Uh, oh, okay. This is a Pickardin insect repellent. Thanks, guys. Uh, that brings up another subject, though. What do you guys think about that? I have used permethrin. I think I'm saying that right? Yes, permethrin. And that is what you treat clothing with. You can either spray or soak your clothing or hammocks, etc. And it basically repels insects. Actually, I think it kills them. So they won't even crawl on anything that's been treated with, with that. And you can actually wash it up to a few times. Basically, as far as I know, I think you can get almost like a season out of it, out of a treatment. But this is their answer to that. It's a different chemical. It's called Picardin. Picardin. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've never used this type before. I did hear about it when Sawyer came out with it. And I don't know. Any experiences out there, guys? Is this uh, better, worse, same than the permethrin? It says it uh, will keep away mosquitoes. Good for Zika, West Nile, dengue fever, and something that I can't pronounce, chikagunya. Something like that. All right, cool. And a little squeeze bottle of it as well. I could add to a bucket of water, I guess. Got a real grab bag here. And family insect repellent, controlled release lotion. This looks like it's like a lotion that has a 20% DEET in it. Okay, cool. Try that out too. Good Lord, what is this? This is actual permethrin. So I guess they saw that as well. For repelling ticks, chiggers, mites, mosquitoes and all kinds of other stuff. So this I think you dilute with water, pour it in a bucket, and you can soak your stuff in. All right, now lucky for me though, the weather is getting cooler, and the temps that Mike and I are expecting on our trip are gonna be probably in the mid to upper 20s, which would be a nice break from the bugs and heat. But next season, or if I go down south, real far south, I guess I'll be all hooked up. And they sent me some Pickardin wipes and uh, some Blisto band adhesive bandages. I'm all set. All right. Well, thank you, Outdoor Vitals and Sawyer Squeeze, for sending me some more stuff to test on this channel to share with you guys. Again, I don't do positive reviews in exchange for free stuff. What's the worst that's going to happen? They never send me free stuff again. I have enough free stuff. So I'll test these out. I'll show you guys what I think about it on the next trip and over the next videos. I think that just about does it. I'll just open up some of these letters here. Ryan down in Missouri, thank you for the sticker, sir. Ozark Trail Association, very cool. Always fun when people send stickers as well. You don't have to, but that's cool. Appreciate that, buddy. Thank you, Ryan. This is a cool letter from Josh, so thank you, Josh. This is the one that says, hike your own hike. Send you one. This is from Will in Kansas. He did the Maroon Bells trip that Mike and I did on that video in Colorado uh, just a week after we did. It was beautiful, but it snowed on him. That was only a week and a, a week after Mike and I were there, and he got snow. That's awesome. Um, I really like that video, too. If, uh, if anybody hasn't seen it, I think it's worth checking out for some classic just Mike and I hiking video. But the, the views that the Maroon Bells afford are just amazing. Thanks, Will. I'm glad you were able to get out there and have a fun time, too. I wish we got a little bit of snow. A little bit. Maybe uh, just enough to make things pretty, but not wake up covered in it. That sounds awesome. Oh, look at this. This person just sent me a sticker. No return address and no self-addressed stamped envelope. Uh, I feel bad. I can't send you a sticker back. I don't even know a name who this came from, but thank you. Well, it's supertrampgoeswild.com. So I guess maybe you're just going for a plug. Well, there you go. You got one, buddy. Thank you for the sticker. One of these days when I finally buy a Jeep, I'm going to pretty much have it covered with your guys' stickers, I guess. Flushing, New York. Yeeshi. No problem, buddy. I'm sure I can get a sticker in there. This is from Normal, Illinois. We love watching the episodes and getting inspired. Please send us a sticker. I definitely will. And this is from DK in Florida. 95% humidity hiking down there. Good Lord. P.S. I like the mail idea. I think your viewers will as well. I don't know. I hope you guys like this stuff. Just like I said, trying to make conversational kind of videos, show stuff. Get your opinions on it as well. I don't know. I mean, I'm into hiking, so I would like to see something like that. So usually I just do whatever I feel like and see what happens. Bears, alligators, no rattlesnakes in Florida. I don't know. Alligators, though, man. 
that's a whole nother challenge I'm not used to. And the last one from Beaumont, Texas. I love your dog. Such a good trail buddy. Denali is the best. If you've been hearing some crunching, that's him walking around. He hasn't really made a visual appearance, but um, audio-wise, he's been chewing on some sticks around here. So thank you, Beaumont, Texas. We'll get you a sticker out as well. And that about covers it. So there you go. Fun time with mail. Send those stickers back to you guys if you want info on that. The address is in the description below. Until next time, I'm Syntax77, and you have fun out there.